Mr. Red here. Today is October 28, 2017. And yeah, yeah, I don't have my bee suit on today. I got my work apron on today. I was actually supposed to go do a removal this morning, but the front came through and our temperatures dropped into the lower and mid 40s. And uh, so I just said, well, I think I'll just go ahead and shop and start continue working on, on doing our, our bee boxes. So that's what I'm doing today. And I want to make it just a little video on, on the way that I'm doing this. So I'm going uh, to uh, go ahead and start breaking this whole system down, how I do it, and uh, maybe give you an idea on how uh, you can start constructing your, yours also. By the grace of God, I've only got about 100 of these things to build. I've done like about 70 of them, so a couple more to do, and we'll be done. Let's build some boxes. So I'd venture to say that almost every beekeeper um, has assembled boxes uh, for their hives before. Um, and they're, you know, they, when, when you buy them, I buy mine from Man Lake, and when you buy them, they just, they're already finger jointed and you just have to assemble them. The problem, the problem is when you're assembling them, how do you actually clamp these things so that they don't move on you as you're trying to clamp them and nail them and screw them? So that's, that's, that's the, the problem that, that you run into. And if you're only doing, you know, eight, ten of them, that's, that's not too bad, but I figure since I had a hundred of them to do, I'm not going to be fighting that every single time. So the first thing I did was I, I made a, a fixture to, to hold my boxes so I could just drop a box in there and then start right away. I want to show you that, that little fixture first. So what I've done is I've taken one of our little sanding stations and, and these um, we've got these set up so that they're on, on uh, Lazy Susan so they, they turn around so we can sand our, our tops and sides a lot easier. What I did was I just modified this one and by chance where these two by fours right here are, they, they were actually the, the right width for our boxes. I just had to put some spacer blocks in here to make that work. And I use, I, I, we, have, we have the big, the wide jaw um, clamps right here, and they're very nice. They're very nice to use because they actually put pressure on your box uh, on a longer part of it than just a smaller clamp would do. So I use these things on there. And uh, what, what I've done was, I measured the box and then I actually cut the 2x4 material so that these clamps then could sit inside of it. They're, they're stationed here all the time. And what I did was I also cut grooves inside of the blocks so that our clamps actually are flush to the tops of these blocks. These are situated so that I could just take a box and drop it in. And that's always the, the hardest part is getting the, the first set of clamps on your box without it going racking on you and getting out of square. So this thing it automatically gets the box in square and as long as the sides are, are on the on the 2x4 right here then it's going to actually stay true. It won't, it won't rack it out. Once you start clamping it down it'll all square up and it'll be in place. So this is the clamping system that I use after I, I do the box up and then we just put the box on here and put the um, other clamps on top of it. So let me show you the, the, uh, the screws I'm using and the drivers. This is the uh, screw gun that I use uh, to drive all the screws. And it's not just a regular screwdriver. Um, I really like using those hammer drills. So it's, it is a drill, um, but once it gets to a harder part, it, it actually impacts da 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 da. And uh, it'll actually drive the, the screw in instead of just constant pressure on it. So these, these make, they, they, they make drilling so much easier to do this. Also, um, I'm using uh, an inch and a half uh, screw. That, that's got a, a square head uh, drive on it. Um, and so our drive right here, it's also got a square head on it. And uh, it's, it's an extended one uh, so that it can get around our handles because they're sticking out in the way. And uh, on each one of these boxes, um, there's 36 screws. So it's a lot of, lot of driving you have to do. Um, so I, I prefer the, the screws as opposed to nail because the screw is going to stay in there a lot, lot longer. They won't pull out, and uh, there's no need to glue these things anyway, so screws will work just fine. So we're going to go ahead and assemble one of these boxes and uh, get this thing done. I've already timed it. It, it takes about, about 10 minutes, oh, 8 to 10 minutes to um, assemble one of these boxes, and uh, they come out really well. So let's go ahead and put one together.
And there it is. One more box down and probably about 20 something more to go. So I'm going to go ahead and finish these things up. Hopefully I'll get it done by today. And uh, come springtime I'll be ready for our, our splits and all the stuff that's coming up. The wrangling and all the good stuff. The swarms, all that stuff coming up. So thanks for watching. Keep on watching. Hope it helps. God bless. Mr. Ed, I'm out of here until the next video.